started out actually in, in high school, uh, drumming bugle chords, a marching band, and stuff like that. And then every now and then I'd get to play club somewhere, which I was too young to be in them. But they let me in sometimes. So I, I learned how to play there. And I learned how to play in all the clubs I used to work. Learn a little bit from this guy, a little bit from that guy. Just kind of, uh, you steal what you do from each one of those guys. And you put, then you put it all together, and it works out pretty good. I liked big band back then. You know, I used to love to watch them play and listen to them. What, what about that style? Is what attracted you to it? I don't know. It's just a swinging style. It just worked worked for me. Yeah. And a lot, not a lot of guys. It worked for a lot of people. I don't know. I just started playing like I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have any. Uh, I didn't have any, any certain style. I just started playing and whatever felt good, that's what I played. So do you take do you take pride in the fact that, you know, Elvis is known for his dance moves and a lot of the drums is responsible for the rhythm. Do you take pride in knowing that you helped him become iconic? Well, well yeah, but uh, he, 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 he didn't have been a star regardless mm -hmm. of who played. Well, I've done some stuff with Paul, I've done stuff with Ron Wood with the Stones, and just different guys, and a bunch of guys in England. We, we Miss Kai went over there a few years ago, and a bunch of those guys from England, which I never heard of before, yeah. but they were very popular guys, you know. It was fun. Paul was easy to get along with, yeah. and uh, he said, you guys want to ready to go? He said, yeah, we, we did that sorry mama thing. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, let's do it. And we turned it, we kicked it off, and said, no, that ain't what I want. And we start. Just three times he started, you know, so he was happy with the intro, that's what it was. Yeah. And it worked out yeah. about the third time. He said, that's good, guys, let's go home. Okay. And we just went in and started cutting. And, uh, well, what the, they were having trouble with, with the sound, and we were stomping our feet, you know, trying to keep it. And I said, no, you can't do that. All the, the mics are picking up everything, so we was you know, real easy, and so, but it worked out fine. Uh, that's the first time he had been out in front of the audience in eight or ten years, and, and we hadn't been out working none at all. So we just had, to, everybody had to wing it uh, and do the best we could. How do you think it turned out? I thought it was great. That was the whole secret. He hadn't been in front of a lot of the audience in years. And he was really scared to get out there. Well, you think they'll like me? I said, sure they will. You should go out there and do what you've been doing for years. I said, you'll see. And boy, they, the house come down. Well, we didn't cut up with him much. He, he was always pretty well business. Mm -hmm. Except uh, in, in the car, I threw his shoes out once. Mm -hmm. Just little stuff like that, but not enough to really attract any attention. Mm -hmm. he, he strictly, mm -hmm. do, he wanted to do what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That's the way it was. <laughs>